gonna give you this. Tammy. I got it here. It's your middle finger. Nope. Poo. Read between the lines. Prepare to be astonished by Melissa McCarthy's incredible journey, a tale of Hollywood triumphs, personal battles, and the relentless pursuit of self-acceptance. From her rise to fame to the harsh realities of body shaming and relentless dieting, McCarthy's story is both shocking and inspiring. Join us as we delve into the mysteries behind this beloved comedian's struggles and successes. Rise to mainstream success. McCarthy's first taste of success came with her breakout role as Sookie St. James in the critically acclaimed television series Gilmore Girls. Her portrayal of the quirky and lovable chef earned her widespread recognition and laid the foundation for her future success in the entertainment industry. Despite facing initial skepticism due to her unconventional appearance by Hollywood standards, McCarthy's undeniable talent and comedic timing quickly won over audiences and critics alike. However, it was her role as Molly Flynn in the hit sitcom Mike and Molly that propelled McCarthy to mainstream success. Portraying a teacher who finds love and navigates life's ups and downs alongside her husband, played by Billy Gardell, McCarthy showcased her comedic prowess and undeniable charm, earning her widespread acclaim and a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 2011. The show's success not only solidified McCarthy's status as a leading actress, but also paved the way for greater opportunities in both television and film. Simultaneously, McCarthy's career received a significant boost with her breakout role in the 2011 comedy film Bridesmaids. Directed by Paul Feig and featuring an ensemble cast led by Kristen Wiig, Maya Rudolph, and Rose Byrne, Bridesmaids was a critical and commercial success, grossing over $288 million worldwide. McCarthy's scene-stealing performance as Megan Price, the eccentric and outspoken sister of the groom, garnered widespread praise and catapulted her to new heights of fame and recognition. The success of Bridesmaids not only solidified McCarthy's status as a comedic powerhouse, but also earned her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Her unique blend of humor, warmth, and relatability endeared her to audiences of all ages, establishing her as one of the industry's most sought-after talents. In the years that followed, McCarthy continued to impress with roles in films such as Identity Thief, The Heat, and Spy, further cementing her reputation as a versatile actress capable of excelling in both comedic and dramatic roles. McCarthy's Weight Loss Journey Melissa McCarthy has not only captivated audiences with her comedic talent, but has also been vocal about her personal struggles with weight and body image. Growing up in Illinois, McCarthy didn't face weight issues until later in life. Despite participating in sports during high school, she found herself worrying about weight at a young age, a common experience shared by many. Reflecting on her teenage years, she admitted to battling weight concerns even when she was physically active and fit. Her weight loss journey began early in her career when she faced advice suggesting weight loss for greater success in Hollywood. Despite these pressures, she chose to focus on her talent and abilities rather than conform to industry standards. However, like many in the industry, she grappled with body image issues, feeling insecure about her weight at various points in her life. In her 20s, after moving to Los Angeles to pursue acting, Melissa's weight started to fluctuate as she made unhealthy food choices and stopped exercising. She gained 25 pounds, leading her to feel anxious and insecure about her appearance. This struggle continued into her 30s, exacerbated by the demanding environment of the entertainment industry. In an effort to lose weight, she turned to extreme measures, including a doctor-supervised all-liquid diet while working on Gilmore Girls. Although she lost 70 pounds in the span of just four months, these drastic measures left her feeling depleted and starved and crazy half the time, a harrowing experience that she would never repeat. 
However, McCarthy's journey took a positive turn as she entered her late 30s. This is when she shifted towards a holistic approach to health, focusing on fitness, well-being, and self-acceptance rather than strict diets. For example, she gained a newfound interest in martial arts and other forms of physical activity. By incorporating activities like piloxing, which is a blend of Pilates and boxing, as well as tennis into her routine, she found a sustainable way to stay active and healthy without fixating on numbers on a scale. In addition to her focus on physical health, McCarthy has also emphasized the importance of mental and emotional well-being in her journey toward self-acceptance, helping her find a sense of peace and confidence that transcends external appearances. Despite her success, McCarthy faced criticism and discrimination in Hollywood, enduring hurtful remarks about her weight. Yet she remained resilient, refusing to let others dictate her worth. With humor and grace, she confronted stereotypes, challenging the industry's narrow beauty standards and advocating for body positivity. She has spoken candidly about the challenges she has faced, from feeling pressured to conform to industry standards to experiencing discrimination based on her size. Gracing the cover of People's Beautiful Issue in 2023, she exuded confidence, embracing her uniqueness and inspiring others to do the same. In recent years, Melissa has also focused on empowering other women by designing her own clothing lines that cater to diverse body sizes. She believes that women come in all shapes and sizes and should have access to clothing that makes them feel confident and comfortable in their own skin. Melissa's commitment to promoting body positivity and inclusivity has resonated with audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as not only a talented actress but also a champion for change in Hollywood. Marriage and Family Life Melissa McCarthy's personal life is as remarkable as her professional achievements, characterized by a loving marriage, a growing family, and a shared passion for creativity and collaboration with her husband. While she was following her dreams to New York City and kickstarting her comedy career, Ben Falcone too was carving out a name for himself in the competitive world of Hollywood. Born and raised in Carbondale, Illinois, Ben's journey to stardom began with a move to Los Angeles, where he quickly immersed himself in the city's vibrant entertainment scene. After honing his craft at the renowned Groundlings Improv Troupe, Ben began to make a name for himself as a talented actor and comedian, appearing in a variety of television shows and films. It was during this time that fate intervened, bringing Melissa and Ben together in a serendipitous twist of fate. As fate would have it, Melissa and Ben's paths crossed at the Groundlings, where they quickly struck up a friendship that would eventually blossom into something much more. In 2005, the couple tied the knot in a private ceremony, surrounded by family and friends, marking the beginning of a partnership that would transcend the bounds of both love and creativity. And as they say, the rest is history. Since then, Melissa and Ben have collaborated on a myriad of projects, both in front of and behind the camera. From their early days as struggling actors to their current status as Hollywood heavyweights, the couple has proven time and time again that they are a force to be reckoned with, capable of achieving greatness when they put their minds to it. Their first major collaboration came with the 2010 film Bridesmaids, in which Melissa starred and Ben had a small role. Directed by Paul Feig, the film was a critical and commercial success, catapulting Melissa to mainstream fame and earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. But it was behind the scenes where Melissa and Ben's collaboration truly flourished, with Ben serving as a writer and producer on the film, helping to shape its unique blend of humor and heart. But perhaps the most significant aspect of Melissa and Ben's collaborations is the creation of their production company, On The Day. Founded in 2013, On The Day was born out of Melissa and Ben's desire to take control of their creative destinies and tell the stories that mattered most to them. Since its inception, the company has produced a number of successful films, including Tammy, The Boss, and Life of the Party. 
all of which have been met with critical acclaim and commercial success. But beyond their professional accomplishments, Melissa and Ben's collaborations have also had a profound impact on their personal lives. As parents to two daughters, Vivian and Georgette, Melissa and Ben, have found joy and fulfillment in their roles as both partners and parents, navigating the ups and downs of Hollywood with grace and humility. Fashion endeavors and academic pursuits. Have you ever wondered how Melissa McCarthy, the powerhouse actress known for her comedic genius and versatile performances, spends her time off screen? Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, McCarthy's personal life is just as captivating as her on-screen performances. Picture this, it's 2012, and Melissa McCarthy is gearing up for one of the biggest nights of her career, the Oscars. Like many celebrities, Melissa eagerly anticipated the opportunity to strut down the red carpet in a stunning designer gown. However, her excitement quickly turned to frustration when she realized that finding a designer willing to dress her was no easy feat. Despite her talent and status in Hollywood, Melissa faced rejection after rejection, with designers citing her size as the reason for their refusal. But instead of letting this setback dampen her spirits, Melissa saw it as an opportunity to spark change within an industry notorious for its lack of inclusivity. Thus, 77 was born, a clothing line designed to challenge the status quo and redefine the fashion industry's approach to plus-size clothing. Launched in August 2015, 77 quickly gained recognition not only for its stylish designs, but also for its commitment to size inclusivity. With sizes ranging from 4 to 28, 77 aimed to fill a glaring gap in the market, offering stylish, high-quality clothing for plus-sized women who had long been marginalized by the fashion industry. McCarthy's vision was clear. To challenge the status quo and redefine beauty standards by celebrating diversity in size and shape. At the core of 77's ethos is a commitment to design and fit. Unlike traditional plus-size clothing, which often sacrifices style for comfort, 77 prioritizes both. Each piece is carefully crafted to flatter different body types, with an emphasis on quality materials and impeccable tailoring. From chic blazers and tailored trousers to trendy tops and dresses, 77 offers a wide range of options that empower women to express themselves through fashion, regardless of their size. By offering fashionable and flattering clothing for plus-size women, Melissa McCarthy is reshaping the way we think about fashion and empowering women to feel confident and beautiful, regardless of their size. And with 65% of female buyers falling into the plus-size category, Melissa's efforts have not only filled a gap in the market, but have also opened the door to new opportunities for brands to connect with a diverse range of consumers. At the heart of 7-7 is Melissa's unwavering commitment to quality and fit. Drawing on her background in clothing design, Melissa ensures that each piece in the collection is not only stylish, but also well-made and tailored to flatter different body shapes. From curve-hugging denim to flowy tops and dresses, 77 offers something for everyone, embodying Melissa's belief that fashion should be accessible to all. But McCarthy's interests extend far beyond the realm of fashion. She is also dedicated to honing her craft as an actress, continually seeking opportunities to expand her skills and challenge herself artistically. One notable stop on her journey was her time spent at the actor's studio, where she immersed herself in the study of acting under the guidance of seasoned professionals. This experience not only sharpened McCarthy's acting abilities, but also deepened her understanding of the craft, providing valuable insights and inspiration that continue to inform her performances to this day. In addition to her academic pursuits, McCarthy has earned widespread recognition for her outstanding performances in both film and television. Over the years, she has amassed numerous nominations and awards, including Primetime Emmy Awards, Critics' Choice Awards, and People's Choice Awards, among others.
These accolades serve as a testament to McCarthy's exceptional talent and versatility as an actress, as well as her enduring impact on the entertainment industry. From her breakout role in Bridesmaids to her acclaimed performance in Mike and Molly, McCarthy has captivated audiences with her comedic timing, emotional depth, and unmatched charisma, earning her a well-deserved place among Hollywood's elite. McCarthy has been honored with a slew of awards, but perhaps her most significant recognition came in 2016, when she was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World, an honor reserved for only the most accomplished and impactful individuals across the globe. So what's next for Melissa McCarthy? With her undeniable talent, unwavering work ethic, and unparalleled dedication to her craft, the sky's truly the limit for this remarkable actress. Whether she's making audiences laugh or bringing them to tears, one thing's for sure. Melissa McCarthy is a force to be reckoned with, and her legacy in the entertainment industry is sure to endure for years to come. Voice Acting Roles It's no secret that Melissa McCarthy is a force to be reckoned with on the big screen, but what you may not know is that her talents extend far beyond live-action performances. In recent years, she's become a sought-after voice actor, breathing life into a wide range of animated characters with her trademark wit and charm. From lovable sidekicks to formidable villains, Melissa's voice acting roles run the gamut, showcasing her ability to inhabit a diverse array of characters with ease and finesse. But what exactly is it about her voice that makes it so captivating and how did she find herself on this remarkable journey into the world of animation? To truly appreciate Melissa McCarthy's prowess as a voice actor, we must first delve into the diverse array of roles she has tackled throughout her career. From her early forays into animation to her more recent endeavors, Melissa has demonstrated a remarkable ability to inhabit a wide range of characters, each one more captivating than the last. One of Melissa's earliest forays into the world of animation came with her role as Dainami in the hit animated Serious Kim Possible. As the delightfully eccentric villainess obsessed with genetic engineering, Melissa brought a unique blend of humor and menace to the character, earning rave reviews from fans and critics alike. But it was her ability to infuse DN Amy with a sense of vulnerability and humanity that truly set her performance apart elevating the character beyond mere caricature and into the realm of genuine pathos. But Melissa's talents as a voice actor extend far beyond the realm of Saturday morning cartoons. In the animated film The Boss Baby, Melissa lent her voice to the character of the eponymous Boss Baby's mother, showcasing her comedic timing and impeccable delivery in a role that delighted audiences of all ages. From her razor-sharp wit to her unwavering maternal instinct, Melissa brought a depth and complexity to the character that transcended the confines of the genre, earning her critical acclaim and further cementing her status as one of the industry's most sought-after talents. But perhaps Melissa's most iconic voice acting role to date came with her portrayal of the lovable culinary genius, Chef Lance, in the animated film Sausage Party. As the leader of the Hot Dog Bun Rebellion, Melissa imbued Chef Lance with a larger-than-life personality and an irrepressible sense of mischief, earning her widespread praise for her ability to bring the character to life with humor and heart. But it was her willingness to push the boundaries of traditional voice acting that truly set her apart. Embracing the absurdity of the film's premise and infusing every line with her trademark wit and charm. As we reflect on Melissa McCarthy's illustrious career, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Her talents as a voice actor are as boundless as they are undeniable. From her early beginnings in animation to her current status as one of Hollywood's most sought after talents, Melissa has proven time and time again that there is no role too challenging for her to tackle. And as we eagerly await her next foray into the world of animation, one can't help but wonder, what new and exciting characters will she bring to life next?
Early Life and Comedy Career Born on August 26, 1970, in Plainfield, Illinois, Melissa McCarthy grew up in a close-knit family on a farm, surrounded by the vast expanse of cornfields and soybean crops that would become the backdrop of her childhood. Raised in a strict Catholic household, Melissa's early years were shaped by the values of faith, family, and hard work instilled in her by her parents, Sandra and Michael McCarthy. With her father tracing his roots to Ireland and her mother's ancestry spanning English, German, and Irish descent, Melissa's upbringing was steeped in rich cultural heritage and familial traditions. Growing up on the farm, Melissa attended St. Francis Academy, now Joliet Catholic Academy, in nearby Joliet, Illinois, where she received a traditional Catholic education that laid the foundation for her future pursuits. It was during these formative years that Melissa's passion for performance and creativity began to emerge, fueled by her early exposure to the vibrant world of fashion and textiles, with a keen eye for design and a flair for the artistic. Melissa found herself drawn to the world of fashion, setting her sights on a future in the industry. After completing her education at St. Francis Academy, Melissa pursued her interest in fashion by studying textiles at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Armed with a newfound sense of purpose and determination, Melissa set her sights on the bustling metropolis of New York City, where she enrolled at the prestigious Fashion Institute of Technology to further her studies in fashion design. In the heart of the fashion capital, Melissa immersed herself in the vibrant energy of the city, soaking up inspiration from its eclectic mix of cultures, styles, and trends. But fate had other plans for Melissa, leading her down an unexpected path that would ultimately shape the course of her career. While pursuing her studies in fashion, Melissa found herself drawn to the world of performance and entertainment, captivated by the allure of the stage and the thrill of live performance. Seizing the opportunity to explore her creative instincts, Melissa made the bold decision to transition from studying fashion to pursuing a career in the performing arts, embarking on a journey that would take her from the runways of New York City to the bright lights of Hollywood. In the bustling streets of New York City, Melissa's adventurous spirit and irrepressible energy led her to explore new avenues of creativity and expression, from working as a costumer for a dance company to making her mark on the stand-up comedy circuit. Embracing the challenges and opportunities that came her way, Melissa honed her comedic skills and honed her craft, earning a reputation as a rising star in the world of comedy. But it was in Los Angeles, the epicenter of the entertainment industry, that Melissa found her true calling, joining forces with The Groundlings, a renowned improv troupe known for its stellar roster of talent and innovative approach to comedy. Founded in 1974 by Gary Austin, The Groundlings quickly established itself as a breeding ground for comedic talent, attracting aspiring performers from all walks of life. From its humble beginnings in a small theater on Melrose Avenue, the group grew to become one of the most revered improv and sketch comedy troupes in the world. As a member, Melissa honed her skills as a performer, sharpening her wit, honing her timing, and perfecting her comedic chops. Under the guidance of seasoned veterans and fellow up-and-comers, she immersed herself in the art of improvisation, learning to think on her feet and trust her comedic instincts. But it wasn't just about perfecting her timing or delivering punchlines, it was about embracing the chaos of live performance and embracing the spontaneity of the moment. For Melissa, the Groundlings provided a nurturing and collaborative environment where she could hone her craft and push the boundaries of traditional comedy. With each performance, she captivated audiences with her infectious energy and comedic talent, earning rave reviews and attracting the attention of industry insiders. Hollywood Breakthrough Have you ever wondered how Melissa McCarthy, the acclaimed actress and comedian, rose to fame from humble beginnings to become one of Hollywood's most beloved stars? 
Let's take a closer look at Melissa's early career and the struggles she faced on her journey to success. Melissa McCarthy's foray into the world of entertainment began with her first television role in the NBC comedy series Jenny, where she starred opposite her cousin, the renowned actress and model Jenny McCarthy. It was a modest start for Melissa, but it laid the foundation for what would become a remarkable career in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges and setbacks she encountered along the way, Melissa's talent and determination never wavered, propelling her forward in pursuit of her dreams. But it was Melissa's film debut in Go, 1999, that marked a significant milestone in her career. Though her role was minor, it served as a stepping stone for Melissa, opening doors to new opportunities and paving the way for future success. In the years that followed, Melissa continued to hone her craft, appearing in various movies and television shows, each role adding depth and dimension to her burgeoning career. However, it was her breakthrough role as Sookie St. James on the beloved television series Gilmore Girls that catapulted Melissa into the spotlight and solidified her status as a rising star in Hollywood. Cast as the lovable and quirky best friend of the show's protagonist, Melissa brought warmth, humor, and a touch of whimsy to the character of Sookie, captivating audiences with her endearing portrayal. But behind the scenes, Melissa faced her fair share of challenges and struggles as she navigated the often unpredictable and competitive world of show business. From audition rejections to career setbacks, she encountered numerous obstacles on her path to success. Yet it was her resilience and unwavering determination that ultimately propelled her forward, inspiring her to persevere in the face of adversity. Despite the challenges she faced, Melissa's talent and perseverance eventually caught the attention of Hollywood's elite, paving the way for even greater opportunities and achievements in the years to come. But Melissa's journey was far from over, and the best was yet to come for this talented actress and comedian. Diverse Roles and Characters Melissa's journey into the world of independent cinema began with a string of critically acclaimed films, including The Nines, The Captain, just Add Water, and Pretty Ugly People. In these indie gems, Melissa showcased her remarkable talent and versatility, effortlessly inhabiting characters that ranged from quirky and eccentric to deeply emotional and complex. With each role, she proved her ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression on the silver screen. But it was Melissa's transition to mainstream success that truly catapulted her into the spotlight. With her breakout role as Molly Flynn in the hit sitcom Mike and Molly, Melissa captured the hearts of audiences around the world. Her portrayal of the lovable and relatable Molly earned her widespread acclaim and accolades, including her first Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Yet, it was Melissa's unforgettable performance in the groundbreaking comedy Bridesmaids that solidified her status as a bona fide star. As Megan, the irreverent and scene-stealing bridesmaid, Melissa delivered a tour de force performance that had audiences laughing, crying, and cheering in equal measure. Her comedic genius and impeccable timing earned her nominations for prestigious awards, including the Oscars, BAFTA, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. But Melissa's talents weren't limited to the small and silver screens alone. In fact, she took the world of comedy by storm with her multiple hosting gigs on Saturday Night Live. With each appearance, Melissa showcased her comedic range and versatility, bringing her trademark humor and infectious energy to the iconic sketch comedy show. One of her most memorable SNL moments came during her now iconic portrayal of former White House Press Secretary Cian Spicer. With her exaggerated mannerisms and impeccable comic timing, Melissa transformed into Spicer with uncanny accuracy, earning her widespread acclaim and solidifying her status as one of SNL's most beloved hosts. The sketch became an instant classic, spawning countless memes and earning Melissa an Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series. 
But Melissa's success on SNL didn't stop there. Over the years, she has returned to the show multiple times, each appearance more memorable than the last. From her uproarious turns as game show host Arlene to her side-splitting impressions of everyone from Chris Farley to Michael Bloomberg, Melissa has proven time and time again that she is a comedic force to be reckoned with on the SNL stage. As Melissa embarked on her own comedic journey, she found inspiration in the work of iconic comedians who paved the way for future generations of funny women. From Lucille Ball's physical comedy prowess to Carol Burnett's quick wit and charm, Melissa drew upon the comedic genius of these trailblazers as she navigated the often male-dominated world of comedy. But Melissa's comedic influences extend beyond the realm of stand-up comedy and sitcoms. She also found inspiration in the work of fellow actors who seamlessly blended humor with heart. These include Steve Martin, Bill Murray, and Chris Farley. Each of these comedic heavyweights brought something unique to the table, whether it was Martin's offbeat humor, Murray's deadpan delivery, or Farley's larger-than-life physicality. By studying their work and incorporating elements of their comedic styles into her own performances, Melissa was able to further refine her comedic voice and connect with audiences on a deeper level. So, as we reflect on Melissa McCarthy's remarkable journey from indie darling to mainstream sensation, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Her talent knows no bounds. With each role and performance, she continues to captivate audiences and redefine the very essence of comedy. And as she continues to push the boundaries of her craft, one can't help but wonder, what iconic role will she tackle next? Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.